then it gets a little weird with words like anaconda. Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express, Vic DiBattato here. You know, I was just thinking, words are so interesting for so many reasons. And there's usually more than one word for an individual thing. Do you know what I mean? Like in the English language, there are always a few different words for an individual item. Like uh, a faucet can also be a tap or a car is also called an auto. Or a refrigerator is a fridge or an ice box. Well, I, I guess ice box is kind of old school when they actually used ice to cool the box. But here's my point. When it comes to male or female sex organs, there seems to be hundreds of different names that we call them. And I'm not sure why those things have to have so many different names or nicknames. Like hundreds of different names. I mean... I get that male and female parts are called different things in different languages. You know, that makes sense because every English word is called something else in a foreign language. Like the word penis in Italy is penne, but only with one end. If it had two ends, you'd be eating penis pasta. Or in Brazil, it's pau. Or in Greece, it's peos. But I'm not talking about foreign words. I'm Talking about in English, we have a million words for penis. Now, here's just a few examples. We call a penis a dick, prick, member, tool, organ, cock, wang, pecka, peter. And then it gets a little weird with words like anaconda, baloney pony, custard launcher, ding dong, dipstick, fire hose, meat stick, one eyed trouser trout and love muscle. Then it gets just bizarre with words like hairy canary, meat puppet, pork sword. Now, there's hundreds of names for the penis in English, but as it turns out, nothing is as bad as the names we call a vagina, aside from the C word, which I won't say because none of us are adults here. The names we call a vagina are off the charts. Here's a few. Fish bucket, panty hamster, pink taco, Snatch, twat, pussy, poon pang, lady god, box, the JJ, bearded clam, tuna toupee, fur burger, cooch, squeeze box, love tunnel, diva muff, front butt, and the honey pot. Now, I'm not sure why we can't just call male and female parts penises and vaginas, but for some reason, over the years, all these other names have been created, and we all pretty much have heard all of them. I mean, even mammaries have a billion names. Um, boobs, gazankas, meat bombs, jugs, bongos, fun bags, breast, hooters, headlamps, tits, melons, coconuts, breasticles, knockers, chest butts, snuggle pups, and naughty pillows. Now that's a mouthful, huh? Anyway, while I suspect other countries have some funny other slang names for private parts for, for some reason, I, I, I have a feeling we Americans go overboard with, with that stuff. Hey, in my household... We call them two very simple things. I call Lucy's lady parts the Chachina, and she calls my man part the get the hell away from me. What are you going to do? And that's that. It's just something I was thinking about. Anyway, I hope all you meat whistles and lap flounders have a nice day.